Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Today is March 23rd. This is Facebook Live from the University of Sewing in Bloomington, Indiana. So glad you guys could join us. I'm sure we have our familiar friends that are out there watching. Hi, guys. Dave and Margaret, not sure if you're watching, depending on where you are literally in the world, but I know that you will see it at some point. So know that we miss you all. I am kind of solo today. I've got Eden in the back working on some things, but we've got a lot to talk about. So where do we begin? The same place we always begin with our giveaway. We've got a lovely Threads magazine to give away today. Such a neat, neat magazine. And I will tell you that even though I am a quilter, I appreciate this magazine. It's There's so much in, inspiration and techniques. Have I tried any of it? Not yet, but I'm hanging on to them because you never know. To go with your Threads magazine, we've got my favorite luggage tag. The Schmetz needle kind of secret decoder ring of luggage tags. You can hang it on your rolling case for your machine. I keep one near my machine so that when I forget what needle is in there, I can just do the color coding and go, oh yeah, that one will work. I can hang on to that. Just a reminder, if you haven't changed your needle, change your needle. Sometimes it's the little things that go a long way. So how do you possibly win and get to have these little goodies in your beautiful sewing space? Same way we always do it, guys. Please share our video. So when you do that, make sure that you put in the comments that you've shared because Facebook doesn't tell us that you did. But then when you do, your name goes into the drawing and we pull one out and Monday we'll let you know. So share, tag your friends, let them know. Now, it's March. It's the end of March. It's basketball. Bloomington, Indiana. Basketball is huge around here. We love it. It's so much fun. So let's talk a little bit about your favorite team, right? Um, we have some Indiana fabrics here. Sadly, our Indiana men are not playing right now, but I'm going to give a shout out to the Indiana women who are fantastic, and they are playing today at 1.30. If you come by the shop, I'm hoping to have the game on here so that you can look for your fabrics, get your Indiana fabrics, and check out how the girls are doing too. So we've also got some Purdue. I know I should whisper that here in Bloomington. We've got a little bit of that. You could make some really cute things with that. Um, Tori, if you can maybe look over here by the window, we've got a little IU quilt, just as kind of a fun project, but you could do something quick. It's actually a really nice kind of baby blanket size. And of course, with the dramatic colors, they say that's great for inspiring um, the babies to kind of focus their eyes. So just a thought there. While we're here, Tori, I'm going to uh, do a little fashion show. I'm going to show off my shoes, guys. Very nice. My, my question to you today is, what is the strangest thing you've ever sewn? I think shoelaces are on my list, for sure. Yes, they are Bernina fabric. I'm team Bernina. I you today, too. But um, super easy to do. There's 400,000 ways you can make shoelaces. If you're curious, I can show you how to do it. Um, the aglets, everybody's always asking about those. They're on Amazon. Easy to do. How fun would that be to be, um, you know, to do your IU shoelaces or your Purdue shoelaces or maybe just basketball? Can't go wrong there. Indianapolis, which is not far from us, always has a lot of things going on. This weekend, there's also Comic-Con. It's not something I've been to, but it looks like a lot of fun. So maybe you're a Spider-Man fan. Maybe you're... 12 year old boy or girl needs some Spider-Man shoelaces or a bag or Batman. Just some thoughts. And I will say if you're doing the shoelaces, smaller prints seem to work a little better, but don't shy away from the big prints. You'll see a lot of the color, which could be really fun too. So we'll move these guys over and talk a little bit more about some Bernina fabric. Look how stinking cute those are guys. Took me I'd say from start to finish, you could probably whip these out in about 20 or 30 minutes. Really, really easy. Cute in the red, cute in the white. Of course, just fun Bernina sewing fabric. Literally, the possibilities are endless. And that's what I love about sewing. Make it your own, right? Talking about all the things going on, the Comic-Con, the basketball games, the graduations, the birthdays, and... Oh yeah, there's that little eclipse thing coming up in a couple weeks. Bloomington is right in the path. 
from what I have seen, we are expecting 200 to 300,000 people to come to our little town. But I'm not sure how I feel about that. The eclipse should be interesting though. We have this really sweet little line of fabric that was kind of appropriate, I thought. So I wanted to make sure you guys know about it. It's one we've had for a little while, but it's so pretty. This is called Moon Rabbit. And look how gorgeous these prints are. There is an Asian folk tale about a rabbit. And basically the rabbit makes a great sacrifice and is rewarded for that. If you want all the details, it's probably easy just to Google it. It's a cute little story. But these are so cute. There's the bunny and the moon, great colors. And then this one, if you're doing anything eclipse related, here's your fabric guys. Phases of the moon. I think it's just perfect. Would make cute shoelaces, but yes, you could do all kinds of things with that. So we do have these. The fabrics are beautiful. And Tori, maybe you can look at the selvage on these. Those of you that collect the selvage, look how pretty these are. They would be really neat to add to your collection. So those are a thought. And then I thought if you're going to do a quilt, maybe, if you're going to use Moon Rabbit or something else, maybe you need some pattern ideas to go with that. I pulled a couple. You guys can see I pulled a lot today. Tori asked me what we were going to talk about, and I thought, oh gosh, I don't know. And then I came up with about 30 different ideas, which is good, right? So this pattern is called Written in the Stars. I just think it's really cute. And if you want to do something, you know, to sort of honor and maybe remember the eclipse and where you were and who you were with that day, that's a cute one to do. This one is called Bubble Pops, but it made me think of just that eclipse in the sun and you could do it in lots of different prints or colors. This one is called Dot Matrix. You see the theme happening here, I'm sure. And I haven't looked at these, but they don't look terribly difficult. I think you could whip one out and maybe have it. How cool would it be to take a picture in the middle of the eclipse of your quilt? This one is not round. There's no circles in it, but it's called Check Out the Stars. So that one I thought was a good choice too. Maybe you'd rather not do circles, but this would be a great way to do it. And some of these moon rabbit fabrics would be really cute in that. All of these guys are online. If you're not sure, universityofsewing.com is the website. You can always give us a call. Of course, we'd love to have you come visit. We've been very busy since Dave and Margaret have been gone, and I think they'll be quite happy when they come back. Actually, Tori, maybe you can zoom in on our hole here. <laughs> There's a lot of space here, guys. Speaking of, Dave just says hello. Good morning, Dave. <laughs> so there used to be a machine here, and it was one of our pre-loved machines. It got adopted or rescued or however you want to say it. It got a good home yesterday, so we'll have to fill that space with something today, too. So we've talked about our giveaway. We've talked about some basketball. We've talked about some fun projects. Let's talk a little bit about wide backs, guys. It's not something that we talk a lot about, and I don't know why, because I think they're pretty fantastic. I have some notes here, too. Let's go. Let's go to the back and find the wide backs. We did kind of a quick count. Guys, we have over 80 wide backs. That's, That's a lot of wide backs. That is a lot. Those of you that maybe um, are more garment sewers than quilters may not be familiar with the term. These are wide back fabrics. You'll notice they're taller than our standard quilting cottons. These are typically about 42 inches wide. The wide backs are 108 or sometimes 118 inches wide, which means on the back of your quilt, you don't have to piece things. What a nice idea, right? So I, I ran the numbers just to kind of give you an idea. The average price of wide backs, I'm going to say is $18. We have some that are less, some that are more. A wide back piece for a king size bed, you need about three yards. Doesn't seem like a lot. So that's roughly $54 for just the back piece. If you were to use standard 42 to 44 inch, you would need seven yards at an average of $12 a yard which is $84, $30. I mean, that may not seem like a whole lot, but I can buy a whole lot of fabric for $30.
I can buy some really nice patterns for $30. I could maybe even take a class here at the shop with that $30. Depends on how you want to use your money, right? So the other thing I want to talk about is, again, for those that aren't quilters, white necks are great for garments. You could really take Edie. There's one, I guess it's not a wide back. I was thinking we had a cave wide back. Grab one of those on that shelf, please, Eden. Yeah, maybe this one is a wide back. We do still have some cave. This one is, this one is 108 inches. So this is definitely a wide back. We have three of these. I'll let Eden hold that. Well, actually stay here with that, Eden, and just hold that. The, the, um, the cave wide backs, have a sheen, a little bit of a sheen to them. They're kind of, not a polished cotton, I can't think of the phrase that I want right now. Um, a sateen maybe is the best way to put it. But you can make a beautiful skirt out of that. You can make a fantastic dress out of that. And again, with 108 inches, you know, sometimes when we're doing garments, we're dealing with maybe 60 inches and trying to play that pattern Jenga to get everything to fit the way we want to. A wide back is gonna be so much easier. So we do have a couple of those. We have all of these on the bottom. Something for everyone, without a doubt. We have flannel wide backs. We have the sateen wide backs. We have, of course, the cotton wide backs. We've got some great darker, more masculine colors, maybe. Sometimes it's hard to find fabrics for our guys. It's real easy to find stuff for the ladies in our life, typically florals and bright colors. And, guys are a little more challenging, but we don't want to leave them out because they're more challenging. Tori, come back this way. Guys, Tori is being our cameraman today, and we are very grateful. Here's more wide backs. So many. We've got Christmas. We've got minky wide backs. We've got, look at these. These are Amanda Murphy with big, bold prints on them. Yeah. Now, as a machine quilter, I will tell you that would be so much fun to put on your long arm and just play and just practice. You could do all kinds of fun things with that. And it goes all the way down. This one, I guess we've had this one for a while, but I just noticed it the other day. Look how cute that is. A travel one. I bet Dave and Margaret could check off most of those. Yep, been there, done that. Some fun gears. Kind of a steampunk look and again we do have the minky and these are 40 percent off so even more savings and not just you know little kid kind of minky but some again some darker ones and really who doesn't love a good minky you just kind of want to pet it, it reminds me of my doggy's ears that's always the softest part i think of on a puppy oh today's national puppy day by the way celebrate with your with your pooch. So, white backs. If you have any questions about them, absolutely come in, give us a call. I will share with you too, um, with the exception of the minky, we tear our white backs instead of cutting them. We have discovered that they are not on the bolt, straight and square and folded appropriately. And we don't want you to get home and go, I'm six inches short. So we tear them so you have a good cut. And all of our cuts, whenever whether we're doing white backs or any of it, we always give you a little bit extra on either end because we know you're going to have to square things up or play pattern Jenga or whatever it is. So come check out the wide backs as well as all the other cool stuff. And Tori, just because we're here, maybe you can show everyone these light colors. Low volume is sometimes a hard thing to find, but it makes a great background. I've been watching a lot of collage quilters online and they like the low volume so that um, the collage pieces that they're doing kind of pop off. We've got a fantastic selection of those also. Let's go out front, guys. I've got more to chat with you about. Look, football, Steelers. What team are you looking for? If we don't have it, we can probably get it. More basketball, more travel, all kinds of fun stuff. <clears throat> so we do want to make sure that we mention today um, classes that we have coming up next week on Tuesday. 
Um, Cheryl has her last class for the beginning quilting class. And the next eight week class is going to start on April 1st. So if you have not signed up for that, do it guys. Cheryl has had a full class. They have had so much fun and learned so much. The things that are coming out of this beginning quilting class are really kind of special. It's neat to see. Wednesday the 27th, there is a 2 p.m. embroidery, embroidery mastery class. Um, 790 Pro only machines and that's with Alice. So if you've got one of those fantastic new machines, Alice is definitely the one that you want to talk to to learn how to use it and get the most out of it. <clears throat> I'm going to grab my water, guys. And then we have a shop hop planning ahead, right? Shop hop, the Southern Indiana shop hop, June 19th through the 22nd. Please come visit us. These are all of the local shops that are going to participate. We are super excited. Have already sold a couple passports, but guys, I didn't get this out of here. Well, I don't want to open the package, but look how cute the pin is for this shop hop. And I think you can get a hint of what the theme is going to be for the blocks. And then of course the finished quilts. We are working on those. Cheryl was putting some together. Um, Rachel, our fabulous Rachel, designed and wrote the pattern for our block, so you know it's going to be a good one. So put this on your calendar if you haven't already. Be sure that you get your passport. And then, over here, Tori, come back this way. Have you signed up for the OESD event yet, guys? This really is very, very special. If you haven't heard about it, I don't know how you haven't heard about it, um, we're going to have a one-day lecture and then a two-day project. You don't have to have a Bernina machine. This is for anybody who likes embroidery. Um, the lecture day, of course, anybody can come. We're gonna provide lunch. There's always chocolate and door prizes and snacks and things. Alice is fabulous at anything related to embroidery, but on top of having Alice, we're gonna bring in a uh, OESD specialist. So she will be in town to teach us all the kind of secret code tips and tricks and I'm not much on embroidery, so I feel like I really need to at least do the lecture and bring a notebook because I'll be taking lots of notes for sure. The spaces are starting to fill up, so I would not hesitate if this is something you're thinking about. You really don't want to miss it, guys. And like I said, it, as far as sharing, you know, we always ask you to share our video and you guys are great about that. Share the idea of this event. Maybe you can get a couple friends together and come and hang out with us for a few days. We do have that on our Facebook page. It is on the Facebook page. To sign page. up as oh, well. Oh, perfect. So perfect. both website and Facebook page. And of course you can do that in the shop. You can call us if you want to do it over the phone. We try to make it as easy as possible yeah. for you. Right on. So one of my other 37 things I wanted to talk about this morning, thread. We don't give thread a lot of love. I don't know why. Sometimes it can make all the difference in our project. So Tori's going to kind of span down our wall of thread and just give you a big view of what we have. If you have a need for thread, and you do, we have the right thread for you. The ones that Tori's showing you now are all Isocord. Isocord is a great multi-purpose thread. Um, it's polyester, has a really brilliant color, a little bit of a shine to it. Because it's polyester, it makes it a little stronger. You can use it for construction. You could use it for construction of your garments. You can use it for piecing on your quilting. It makes beautiful embroidery. And one of my favorites, machine quilting. I can't think of anything that you wouldn't use this thread for, guys. It sews beautifully in our machines and the end result is always gorgeous. We've got the smaller spools here. We've got larger spools here. These are great for machine quilting. If there's a color that you want that we don't have, that's easy, guys. Just let us know. We can order it. And the cool thing about doing that, you don't have to pay for shipping. So if you were to order it online, you'd have to pay for shipping. We take care of that part. So tons of isocord here. Look at these, the variegated. I just like to play with the variegated just because. On top of the isocord, we'll move down here a little bit, we've got some wonderful, lots of pretty sparkly things just to add a little touch of something. And then this one 
is also a wonder fill. This is Deco Bob. Deco Bob is an 80 weight thread. Now, when you think about thread weights, it's backwards from needle sizes. Needle sizes, the bigger the number, the larger your needle is. Thread, the bigger the number, the more fine the thread is. I have done some quilting with the 80 weight, and it's really kind of cool because if you match it to the background, to the fabric, you don't see the thread. The thread sinks in and you just see the texture, which is really, really fun. Now I will tell you, if you decide you don't like that design and you want to pull it out, get a glass of wine, get some chocolate, sit down, because it's going to be a little while, because it does take some effort to take it out, but just don't take it out. You don't have to worry about that. So let's put this guy, where did I get this guy? Well, I'll have to find his home. We've got serger sets. These are great for practicing and playing decorative threads in your loopers and um, rolled hems and all kinds of fun things. The new Bloom and Grow quilt kit that comes with the fantastic and beautiful um, Quilters Edition L890 serger plays with some of these threads. So if that's something you're interested in, come in and visit. It's so cool, so pretty. And we do have four more kits ready to go if somebody's looking for those. Um, they include the fabric and the patterns. We'll do thread and other things when they come. One of the threads is kind of a special order, so we're still waiting on that. But you can get the fabric and the pattern and be ready to go. Up on the top, we've got some isocord sets. Those are just great, really popular basic colors. If you don't know where to start, what ones you need, that's a good one. And of course, anything that comes in a nice tin, I think is great. We've also got over here, the Bernina Mettler set in the tin. This one is actually 20% off for National Quilting Month, but of course that ends next week, guys. The Eversone set, I do want to talk about that real quick. Um, they are 50% off. We've got, I think, two different versions, and I've got one down here that's open that I want to show you, but it's very similar to Isocord, and you get a fantastic variety of colors for a really, really good price. Let's grab that so you can see that. This was one of the first things that I bought after I got my 570 a few years ago. So you've got all these lovely, lovely colors. And you've got a color chart. This one is called Northern Lights. So you see the blues and the greens and the beautiful teals, but as they say on TV, wait, wait, there's more. Look at that. More and beautiful. Think of the embroidery that you could do. Think of um, some of those flowers, you ladies that have the CAF machines with the embroidery on them. Some of these would be fantastic in there. And then again, the box. I think I'm kind of a sucker for a good box, a, a good organization. I've got my tag on here so it won't close, but really nice. So this is regular $1.99. It's half price, guys, it's $99.50. It's a great deal for some really, really nice threads. So keep that in mind too. Pull back up here a little bit. Quilting cottons. Beautiful Madeira threads. I have played with these on my long arm. The one that I love the most are the variegated. They're just so much fun. You can't go wrong with any of these. And actually, Alice was telling me she has used it in the serger and it works beautifully in the serger as well. So again, a good multi-purpose kind of thread. Anything that we can do double duty or triple duty or quadruple duty, I love that. You're gonna get more for your money. You're gonna have more fun in your sewing room. And you know, shopping is great and it's fun to shop for new things, but sometimes you just wanna to get to sewing. So if you have this, you're ready to go. We've got some smaller thread spools over here, the Presentia, which we've had for a very long time, and that's because it's a really nice little thread. 100% um, cotton. These are $2.50 a spool, very economical. Great if you just have a little thing and you just need just that right color. So you don't want to buy a large spool. This is perfect. We do also have some Aurifil. We don't carry a whole lot of it, but this from here to here, these are Aurifil. And again, 100% cotton, 50 weight thread. I haven't ever heard anybody complain half a second about Aurifil. It works every time in every project. 
below the Aurifil, we also have another 50 weight, 100% cotton. So this is the confetti cotton. It's a little thicker than the Aurifil, even though it is also a 50 weight. The nice thing about this one, it is double gassed, which means they have basically burnt off all the little fuzzies and all the little frizzies, which means less lint in your machine. So it's a little less inexpensive, a little less expensive than the Aurifil, but it sews just as beautifully. We've got lots of uh, Sulky. These are the 12 weight. What's a 12 weight? Well, we talked about the 80 weight. That's the really fine stuff. This is a little thicker. This is great for top stitching. Great for those decorative effects where you really want the thread to stand out. And again, tons of colors in little spools, so you don't need to buy a giant one. But if you do need a giant one of some beautiful variegated colors, we've got the Fruity. I love the names, don't you? Fruity, spaghetti, I mean, who comes up with these? This is the spaghetti, which is the solid. Sews just as beautifully. Guys, anything we have in here, it's because Margaret has given it the thumbs up. So you, there's no question. It, it's gonna be fine in your machine, in your project, you're gonna love it. We do have lots of serger thread. We've got the Madeira. We've got lots of Maxi Lock. There was some discussion online recently about what kind of um, stretchy thread do you use in your serger specifically for rolled hems so that it fills. Wooly nylon is still the one that we all like the most. It's a little hard to find, but we have it. So if you're looking for it or you know somebody else who's looking for it, give us a call, check out the website. We can help you out with that for sure. Um, we've got <laughs> tons of specialty kind of threads, guys. We've got some silk here, little bitty ones, very fine. What are you gonna use the silk for? Maybe some hand applique, maybe some English paper piecing. And again, it's just gonna sink and disappear. Some beautiful shiny, some more presentia in the larger cones. This one is kind of cool. Have you guys heard of fusible thread? Tori's making a face at me like, what in the world? Fusible thread is really cool. It doesn't stay forever, but it's great, especially for binding quilters. Hold that binding piece in place, then you can stitch it down and it won't move as you're trying to get that stitch, that last beautiful stitch in just the right spot. So we've got, I think two versions of this actually. We've also got some nylon here. We've got smaller spools of nylon. And I was looking at that and I thought, what would you use nylon for? I have used it um, in quilting a long time ago. But think about something where you don't want the stitches to show. Think about maybe a hem in your pants. Maybe that would work really well. Guys, I think you can see, oh, I forgot one. I forgot the new one. Scan fill organics. We don't have a great home for this beautiful fixture yet, so it's kind of hiding back here, but we do want to give it some love. These are organic cottons beautiful colors. I haven't sewn with them yet, but I really, really am eager to. Look how pretty they are. Not just the color, but the spool is a wooden spool, so less plastic that we have to worry about disposing of. And really, they're so pretty. I mean, I wouldn't mind having it sitting out in my sewing room. More inspiration, right? So absolutely, come in and check these out. These are also 50 weight. If you've played with skin, Scan fill. Yeah, if you've played with this before, you're familiar with it, let us know in the comments because I'm really curious until I get to play with it. I'd love to know what you guys think. We're pretty excited about it here. What I was going to say is obviously we have just about every thread for any need, for any purpose, any kind of sewing. So whatever you need, give us a call. Check out the website. Let us know if we're missing something. We can fix that. So it is nearly 10. There's some basketball happening. There's some customers coming. There's lots of cool things going on today. So I'm going to wrap up and just remind you to share the video, to uh, possibly enter the Threads magazine and the luggage tag with the Schmitz needle stuff on it. We will sign off for today. Say, Dave and Margaret, we'll see you later. Everyone else, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.